Hey there, are you tired of studying for hours on end only to forget everything you learned the next day? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about a book that can help you learn more effectively and make information stick. Welcome back to One Step Forward, the channel where we believe that every page you read is one step forward towards a better you. Today, we're excited to talk about Make It Stick, a book that delves into the science of how we learn and what makes information stick. It's a must read for anyone looking to improve their learning skills and achieve better results. The main idea of Make It Stick is that traditional study techniques like highlighting, rereading, and cramming are not effective in helping us learn and retain information long term. The authors present evidence based strategies that are proven to enhance learning and memory. From interleaving to retrieval practice, this book will revolutionize the way you approach learning. Now, let's dive into the key takeaways. Takeaway 1 Interleaving. Basically, that means instead of studying just one thing for hours on end, you mix it up and study a variety of topics. It might sound counterintuitive, but studies show it's actually more effective. Think of it like doing a workout. If you only do bicep curls every day, your biceps will get stronger, but your other muscles won't see any improvement. But if you mix it up and work out different muscle groups, you'll see overall improvement. So, the next time you're studying, try switching it up and studying different topics. Maybe one hour of history, followed by an hour of math, and then some language arts. It'll keep your brain on its toes and help you retain the information better. Plus, it'll break up the monotony and keep you from falling asleep at your desk. Takeaway 2. Retrieval practice. It is all about retrieval practice, which is basically the idea that actively trying to recall information from memory is way more effective than just passively reading or listening to it. Think of it like a mental workout. If you want to strengthen your muscles, you have to actually use them, right? Same goes for your brain. And the cool thing is, retrieval practice isn't just good for short-term memorization. It actually helps your brain build stronger more long-lasting connections to the information you're trying to learn. So next time you're trying to study or remember something important, don't just read it over and over again. Test yourself. Quiz yourself. Make flashcards and use them to practice actively recalling the information. It might feel harder at first, but trust me, your brain will thank you later. Takeaway 3 Spaced repetition. Think of it like planting seeds in a garden. You don't just throw them all in one big clump and hope for the best, right? No, you spread them out across the soil and give each one the right amount of water and sunlight to help it grow strong and healthy. In the same way, when you space out your learning, you give your brain the chance to consolidate what you've learned and make it part of your long term memory. Instead of cramming everything into one study session and forgetting it all the next day, we've all been there. You'll be able to retain what you've learned and build upon it over time. So, if you want to make your learning stick like glue, give spaced repetition a try. It might take a little more effort and planning than cramming, but trust me, your brain will thank you in the long run. Takeaway 4 Elaboration When we learn new information, it's important to make connections to what we already know. That's what elaboration is all about. Think of it like building a mental web of knowledge. The more connections you make, the stronger the web becomes. And when you encounter new information, you can add it to the web by making new connections. For example, let's say you're learning about the solar system. You can connect the new information you learn about each planet to what you already know about the planets in the solar system. You can also connect it to what you know about space, gravity, and other related topics. By doing this, you're not just memorizing facts, you're creating a deeper understanding of the topic. And that deeper understanding makes it easier to remember and apply the information in the future. So, don't be afraid to make connections when you're learning. The more you connect the dots, 
the easier it will be to remember and use the information. So, what are the benefits of reading the one thing? Let's check them out. Benefit 1. You'll learn how to actually learn. Tired of feeling like you're not making any progress with your studies or work? This book will give you the science-backed tools to improve your learning and retention, so you can finally stop spinning your wheels. Benefit 2. You'll save time and effort. By learning how to learn more effectively, you'll actually save yourself time and effort in the long run. No more wasting hours studying or working without seeing results. Benefit 3. You'll become a better teacher or trainer. Whether you're a teacher or just someone who wants to share their knowledge with others, this book will give you a deeper understanding of how people learn and how to help them succeed. Benefit 4. You'll have a better understanding of your own mind. Have you ever wondered why you forget certain things but remember others? Make It Stick will teach you about the quirks of human memory and give your insight into your own mind. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who wants to keep learning and growing, Make It Stick has something to offer. So, remember to mix it up with interleaving, test yourself with retrieval practice, space out your study sessions, and elaborate on what you learn. These are the key takeaways from Make It Stick that will help you become a successful learner. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed learning about Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning by Peter C. Brown, Henry L. Rodiger III, and Mark A. McDaniel. Remember, if you want to improve your learning game, this book is a must-read. By implementing the key takeaways we've discussed today, you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of successful learning. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great content on personal and professional development. And as always, keep learning and keep growing. See you in the next video. Take one step forward and enjoy the journey of learning.